हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गाड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवर स्टूडेंट वी आर लर्निंग द फाइनल इयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी फ्रॉम दैट सब्जेक्ट अप टू द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन सो मेनी टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन टू यूनिट नंबर फोर एंड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर फोर केस स्टडी रिलेटेड टू द सोलर एनर्जी एप्लीकेशन so in the last lecture also we have seen one case study related to the solar cooker okay so related to that we have seen the box type solar cooker design and estimation of the time period required to cook the food with the box type solar cooker in the today's lecture we are going to see and calculate the time estimation required for the cooking the food with the help of parabolic dish type collector okay so let's see the case study is given here estimation the time required for cook the food here we are going to use the dish type solar cooker related to that types of solar cooker we have <coughs> already seen one video so those who don't see that video you can see that video and you will understand that okay so estimation of time period that we are going to see now for calculating the estimated time required we have to see some assumptions so let's see which are the assumptions we have to consider for estimating the time period so first assumption is that direct solar radiation at a given instant so how much solar radiation is we have considered 500 watt per meter square which is actually instantaneous solar radiation varies from 200 watt meter per square in the early morning and evening to the 800 watt per meter square at the afternoon note that the diffused part of the solar radiation is not taken all of you understand that so we have taken the direct solar radiation value 500 watt per meter square now the diameter of the pot area because it is a parabolic dish collector the diameter of the pot area is 0.30 meters okay then diameter of collector apparatus we have taken 1.5 meters then we have taken concentration ratio that is nothing but the 7.05 by 0.25 that is the 25 optimal efficiency of the collector we have taken 0.75 that means 75% that efficiency is totally depends on the reflector materials could be high as a 90% efficiency of solar cooker we have taken that is nothing but the 30% only are you understand so generally efficiency varies in between 20 to 50% but we will take 30% the total energy required to cook the food we have taken 386.2 kJ so half kg of rice and copper vessel we have considered for the cooking the food okay now as we know in the last lecture also we have seen we have calculated the estimated time in the three stages so let's see the stage for number 1 that is nothing but find out the energy required to cook the food so first stage that is nothing but the find out energy required to cook the food so total energy required to cook the food we already have estimated the estimation process is given and that we have seen also so that is we have considered 386.2 kJ if we convert it into the joule it becomes 386200 of the joule now once we calculate the energy required to cook the fuel stage number 2 is find out actual solar radiation available with the heating so actual solar radiation we have to consider and in the assumption also we have taken that actual solar radiation that is nothing but 500 watt per meter square now the density of solar radiation at the focus point we have to calculate so that is nothing but concentration ratio into the direct radiation into the efficiency of the collector that is nothing but 9375 watt per meter square 
that is nothing but the density of the solar radiation at the focus point. Then we have to calculate actual solar radiation at a 40 area. That means at the cooker. We can calculate it by the density of radiation into the focus point area. And it becomes 2625 watt. So efficiency of solar cooker we have considered 30%. So the actual wattage available at the focus point that is nothing but the solar actual solar radiation at the pot area into the efficiency of the solar cooker and it becomes 787.7 of the watt. Thus parabolic solar dish will work as if there is about 800 watt electrical heating coil kept at focus point about 10 minutes more as compared to the box solar cooker all of you understand now step number three the total time required to cook the food so total time required we are calculating for cooking the half kg of the rice with the uh, copper materials of the vessel so total time required for cooking cooking of half kg rice in the copper vessel is considered same as in case of the box type cooker based estimation now total energy required to cook the food upon actual wattage available using 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 36 uh, 3600 joule conversion factor so it becomes 0 0.13 hour that means the estimated cooking time is calculated considering the focus point is always on the cooker but due to the motion of the sun, focus point shift to every second. In order to use the dish type cooker effectively, frequently adjustment. That means after some times, and that time we are considering 15 minutes. After every 15 minutes, you have to shift the focus points of the cooker. When cooking, a ten cell is kept at the focus it can be heated to around 300 to 400 degrees celsius equals to the burner temperature in case of the gas cooking hence boiling roasting and frying are the feasible so simple payback period is given here what is the simple payback period payback period analysis similar to what is given for the box type solar cooker can be done in this case also concentrating dish type solar cooker with the 1.5 meters aperture diameter are available at the cost of about 605,000 a dish type solar cooker of a given dimension can cook food for 5 to 6 people almost 60 to 70 percent of the cooking requirement daily this leads to seeing about 8 to 10 LPG cylinder per year thus in case the payback period based on the simple calculation will be about 2 years so like that we have calculated the time required to calculate or to cook the food of half kg of the rice with the copper materials of the cookers that is nothing but the 0.13 hours all of you understand that so like that that case study we have seen time estimation for the parabolic dish type of the solar cookers all of you understand that so i think all of you have understand that um, today we will stop here for the today's lecture next point we will continue in the next lecture thank you friends